to our channel it's your girl dana michelle if you are new to the channel thank you so much for stopping by if you like it here if you feeling your girl um please comment like subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever i do upload and if you're already a subscriber you're already part of the tribe the family the circle welcome back welcome home i'm so happy you're back y'all life that's the name of this vlog life lord to perfect but I just have to say that it has been most hurtful to see certain family members um, true selves it's been very hurtful um, and literally I was sharing with one of my best friends Misty um, the only word that I could think of to describe it is just gross. It's disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. It's nauseating. Um, <laughs> it's gross. Like literally when these particular people are around, I feel sick, literally. Um, Y'all, I will honestly say though, moving forward, I will, definitely embrace and love on my family even more but and I'm just going to be honest but there are particular people in my family that I probably will never speak to again um for my own peace and just because I who wants to be around gross people <laughs> I just don't so I'm done talking about that for now um my granddad's funeral is on Saturday this Saturday um, today is Thursday. Sorry, y'all. I am actually on my way to Austin because Cammie is back in the hospital. Um, she caught some kind of virus similar to a cold, but because of sickle cell disease, her immune system is just not the greatest. So a simple cold for her can mean a hospitalization so she's been in the hospital since Sunday and I have not gone up there just because it's been a lot going on 
so I'm on my way up there now even though it's raining and I ideally would not want to be driving up there but I'm actually hoping that she's gonna get out today um, she sounds much better she's not on any um, opioids for pain right now so I'm hoping when I get up here the doctors are gonna say that she can go she can come home because she's on spring break she's been in the hospital her whole spring break um, so yeah, you guys, that's what's going on. I, um, I'm not sure when I'm going to check in with you guys again, but I thought since I'm on the road, it would be a good time to just check in and say hi. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later on. Hey y'all. Happy Wednesday. It is March 22nd and here we are at University Hospital for Kyra's routine apheresis. This machine here is similar to a dialysis machine, but what it does, it takes all Kyra's blood out of her body and filters out all her sickle cell red blood cells and then it infuses donated red blood cells that do not have sickle cells. quick turnaround trip. 
trip because we're getting right back on the road after her appointment, y'all. Um, so yeah, I will check in with you guys probably um, in a little bit. It's still dark outside, as you can see. So maybe when the sun gets up a little bit and we get a little bit further into our journey, I will check back in with you guys. But I just want to say good morning. All right, talk to you guys later. West Campus and we're about to head in it's 10 25 we've kind of been sitting in the car for a little bit less than an hour and we're about to head inside Texas children
Hey y'all, so it's Friday. Happy Friday. I was getting ready to go fill up my water jugs for my water cooler and cars kept honking at me and looking at me and I'm like, why are y'all, y'all, the shield that is on the undercarriage of my car, y'all, when I say it's dragging, like making a loud noise. And I drove to Houston yesterday like that and I'm like, what the heck? So I pulled up to this place. It's called DNM. God bless them because they're fixing it for free. But y'all, I hate car maintenance. Where my man at? Hey y'all. So here's my car on the lift, all vulnerable and whatnot. Shout out to DNM Auto for helping me out. Bye. Hey y'all. It's your girl Dana Michelle. Um. I don't know if I already told y'all, today is Friday, um, and I have really not done anything today. I went to fill up two water jugs, <sighs> but anyway, y'all, I haven't really been doing much. I've just really been sitting here thinking, and I feel like I'm going through some sort of like midlife crisis, kind of. Um, because I'm going through so many major life changes and I have no idea what I'm doing or what to do or how to do it. And I just, I don't know, like I'm going to be 42 this year and I, although I have a job that is, well, it's my career right now. Working for the government is my career right now. And it could be my career for long term. But is that what I want? Like, I don't know. Um, I have so many things that I want to do. So, so many things that I want to try. Like, <clears throat> in June, I'm going to start training to become a ref for um, high school volleyball. I'm super excited about that. Um, and then in August, I'm supposed to start this um, training to become a doula. So I'm super excited about that. But I still, I don't know, something still feels like missing. Um, and I'm just trying to find my way, y'all. Like, it's so weird. My youngest daughter, Kyra, she's gonna be 18 in May. And in like two months, I'm gonna be the parent of two young adult women. How do you do that? Like, I'm still, I'm still getting over the shock of my oldest being 19. She'll be 20 this year. And being the parent of a young adult is so hard, in my opinion. Um, especially because I've been a single parent all their life so I've been in control I've been the one to if there's an issue I fix it I make you know I take care of everything and now I'm having to learn how to be a different kind of parent and it's so different and then because I don't have to parent the same way I have more time to just sit with myself and then it's just like I could just pick at everything you know so yeah you guys I don't know I'm just I feel like I'm just floating along and I don't know where I'm gonna land. And I don't like that feeling um, because something that I haven't had in a very long time, probably I haven't had it since I lived with my parents and I was, you know, still under their care is I just wanna feel safe. I wanna feel secure. I wanna be stable. And like, I'm stable right now. But I want to be, I don't even want to say I want to be comfortable, but I want to be comfortable. I just, I don't want to be in that survival mode. I, I'm, I'm becoming weary of being in survival mode. And I mean, I know it's, it's necessary. Um, and I know many of you probably can re relate to, but who wants to be in survival mode all the time? That's exhausting. It stresses you out, which makes you age and stress manifests from the inside. So it makes you sick and it's just, yeah, I just, I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. Um, I'm gonna figure it out. 
But anyways, I just wanted to check in. Horrible overthinker. Like, my overthinking gets on my own nerves. Like, seriously. Can any of y'all relate? Like, sometimes I'll be like, girl. But, um... Even with this vlogging, I'm trying to show myself grace because I'm new at this and I'm going to make mistakes. I'm not going to be perfect, but I put that pressure on myself. And that's crazy because I fussed at my oldest daughter for doing the same thing to herself. And I just realized, I just told on myself, y'all, just now, y'all just witnessed it. I literally just told on myself, I do the exact same thing. And she probably witnessed that growing up. And now she does it. But on a whole different level. Ooh, cha. Alright, you guys. I'm going to end this vlog. Um, thank you guys for your love and your support and your understanding and showing me grace. Um, I am still struggling a bit with losing my grandfather. Um, he was a, such an amazing man. Um, and I will forever keep his memory alive by just talking about the different amazing memories that I had with him. Um, but thank you guys for being understanding. Um, and again, if you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to come back and hang out, if you want to make this channel home, please subscribe. Um, and to my subscribers, thank you guys so much. Um, I, I appreciate your love and support. And I'm going to not be mushy because I am not crying today. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next vlog.